two secret solutions to curing your sciatic pain once and for all are going to be covered in this video. I'm sure you've scrolled through all the content out there about improving your sciatica. Now, people will stretch their hamstrings, they'll do different moves in order to help decrease the sciatic pain, but this exercise that I'm going to show you is one of the most underutilized exercises and ways to help take the pressure off the sciatic nerve that you absolutely need to know how to do. So I'm going to go through two different ways and variations that you can do this move and it can be an absolute lifesaver, especially when you are just at your wits end with this leg going numb or you're trying to sleep at night to get comfortable and there's just nothing more that you can do or you've tried everything you've stretched yourself out you've done everything by the book you've done the core strengthening the core exercises you go on your workouts you do everything you possibly can but yet you're still debilitated with the sciatic pain so I want to give you a simple solution that I find to be one of the most missing links when we talk about curing sciatic pain today now, sciatica is a complicated diagnosis, right? It typically presents as pain down the leg, pain in the knee, pain in the foot, achiness, nerve-like pain where things can feel numb or irritated. Um, it can also be just pain in the butt or it can be pain in the upper back. It just depends why the sciatic nerve is irritated. Is it irritated because you have slipped a disc and you have a, a, a disc actually compressing the nerve? Is the nerve irritated because a muscle in the butt is compressing the sciatic nerve? Or is it irritated because the sacrum and position of your pelvis is pulling on the nerve, creating an irritation in that nerve and, and stimulating sciatic nerve pain? The sciatic nerve is just a bundle of nerves that come from the lumbar spine and the sacral spine and they join up to form the sciatic nerve. And then that sciatic nerve runs down the entirety of the leg. So a lot of people come up with different fancy ways to help cure sciatica. But the real thing you need to know is that in order to get to the root cause of your sciatic pain, you probably need to work with an expert and someone who fully understands sciatic pain and especially someone who understands the pelvis itself. So that's why as a pelvic expert, physical therapist, and someone who treats the pelvic floor, sciatica, low back pain, that we know the muscles and the nerves inside and outside of the pelvis and we treat those inside and outside of the pelvis. So if you've been on a long loss journey for your sciatic pain and nothing seems to get this thing better, it's probably because you haven't addressed the true root cause of the sciatic pain. So I'm going to tell you a simple solution that we use to help mitigate and navigate controlling this pain, but I am going to tell you that yes, this might help you get out of that pain. It might not cure the complete root cause. And so if you find yourself having to do this exercise that I'm going to show you time and time and time again, then that means that we need to fix what the root cause is because it's not curing your sciatic pain. It's just taking the pressure off the nerve and we want to cure your pain. So you're not having to deal with this every single day of your life and having to think about, oh, is that bed going to be comfortable? Can I tolerate the car ride? Um, can I even go on the airplane, right? We don't have to deal with that. So let's jump in to these two solutions that I find are very underutilized to help manage sciatic symptoms, but are extremely effective. Here we go. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a sacral correction. Now it sounds fancy and everything, but it's not right. This is the sacrum and the sciatic nerve bundles come out here and go down the leg. And so depending on if your pain is on one side or another, it actually doesn't matter. You can try this on both sides and see what is most effective for you. But we're gonna use these hip, some hip muscles to take the pressure off of the sciatic nerve. So let's jump into it. You are going to be lying on your side here. It doesn't matter what side, but when you're on your side, then you're gonna lift your feet up to the sky, okay? And if just holding that is too excruciating, I want you to try your other side first. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bottom foot, place it on the top heel, and then the top heel is just simply 
pushing up towards the sky using the resistance from the foot that's looped around and you're simply just holding this for 30 seconds. So you just hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, then you're letting it go. You should feel this up in the hip right here. Let's go into it again. You'll hold it for 30 seconds. Usually just do it once or twice. And then you can stand up and see if it feels good. Okay, if that feels better and you notice that your sciatic pain is now improved after you've walked around and you're like, yeah, actually that does feel a little better. Now I want you to do this. You're gonna bust out 40, 40 repetitions of this move. Keeping the knees together, keeping the lower core nice and tight. You're lifting your heel up to the sky and you're simply just repeating this 40 times until you have a nice burn right through the side hip. Now, if you're feeling this in your hamstring, that is the wrong place. And so I need you to try to bend your knees a little bit more or a little less to see if you can get this motion to really just feel it in the actual hip joint itself. And then after you do 40, I'll have you stand back up and see if that has helped reduce your sciatic pain. If your sciatic pain is not changed or not improved, or maybe even worse from doing that, then I need you to flip over to your other side and do the same exact exercise, but on the other side. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to use the hip muscles to help pull the sacrum, taking off the pressure from the sciatic nerve. We just have to figure out for your body, what side is going to be most effective at doing this. Once we figure that out, then that side can be your repeat move that you do every single time you get a shot of sciatic nerve pain that doesn't seem to go away. So that is the first solution, overarching solution. We're using an adjustment of the pelvis to help decompress and take pressure off of that sciatic nerve. The second move that we're gonna to do together is gonna be a different correction. We're gonna use this correction, even if the other one worked, but you still feel it just a little bit, I want you to try this correction. So what we're gonna do is one foot is gonna press down into the floor while the other one presses up into the hand. You are gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Let it go, stand up, check it, did it feel better? Does it feel like the pain is out of the leg at all? No, yes, you determine it. If yes, great, move on. If no, I need you to repeat it on the other side. Again, we're just adjusting your pelvis and since you're doing this DIY at your house, we don't know what your actual alignment looks like. So we are gonna try the other side. You're gonna push the foot into the ground, lifting this knee up to the sky, holding for 30 seconds, then you, after that 30 seconds passes, you let it go, stand up, check it out. Okay, does it feel good? Is my sciatic nerve a little decompressed? Okay, these are two exercises that are absolutely crucial in helping manage sciatic nerve pain. And again, they can help decompress that sciatic nerve. They might not fix the complete root cause of why you're having sciatic nerve pain itself. And you should absolutely consult with a pelvic expert physical therapist to help manage and keep your new position of decompressing your sciatic nerve because it's actually not that hard to keep the sciatic nerve pain-free. We just have to figure out what your root cause is that's cr creating the irritation in the sciatic nerve. Is it a slip disc? Is the nerve pinched along the way? Is your sacrum out of position? I will tell you so many women after childbirth never get their pelvic alignment back. Their pelvises stay separated and it's as if they just had a baby yesterday, even if it was 20 years ago. And so their hips actually never return to their normal position and therefore their sciatic nerve ends up getting really strained and their body works in these compensatory patterns that perpetually just irritate the sciatic nerve. So implementing these two adjustments can really help decompress the sciatic nerve and then working with a pelvic expert physical therapist will be able to help get you rid of this pain once and for all. I'm Dr. Allison Fell. I own Body Motion Physical Therapy and we would love to see you here for an intensive if you live out of town, 
um, here in Edmonds, Washington or Polsbo, Washington. Thanks for joining me and please like and subscribe to this video as we come out with new content every week to help you improve your life and longevity.